Friends, a user asked how to create bevel text in Tinkercad. I've got a simple strategy, so let's get cracking. Friends, this is the Tinkercad homepage. These are our designs. I'm going to simply hit create brand new 3D design. I like to start with changing the name. I'm going to call this text tricks. And we're going to move over and bring out the basic Tinkercad font. This little guy is pretty fun. There are four different choices. I'm going to quickly set this to say one pride. Pretty happy that the Lions won last night. I'm going to go to custom colors. I'm going to pick a blue just because that makes my day. And are you ready for this? Here's your bevel. If we set this bevel to one and press enter, notice it's scaled, but nothing happened. That's because it has zero segments. If you change the segments to one, check it out. You've got bevel text. Now, if you look closely at this, the corners may not be great. You can adjust that to find a setting where you don't have glitches. These corners might be an issue, so I'm going to just fiddle and nudge until I think they're smooth as you try and find the number that you think is perfect. Right there is a nice corner when I went to 0.948. Crisp enough, but I'm going to change it to 0.95 for the rest of the project. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to do Control D to duplicate, Shift Nudge to move it down, and let me show you the four fonts we've got to pick from. We've got Sans, and now if I hit Control D again, it memorized that move. I should have kept going here, but I forgot. We've also got Sans Mono, Control D, Shift Nudge, and the final one that we can pick from is Serif. I'm going to quickly pick different colors just so this is easier for us to tell which is which. Let's set this one to a different blue. Notice you can have a lot of fun with these custom colors as you try and find whatever it is you want. And I'm going to set this one to a different gray. Once again, presets, I like those. So as we fiddle with these friends, of course, we can change these numbers to see what we get. Find the one that you think looks fantastic with each. And then I think the user only wanted this top piece. So I'm going to decide this one right here is my favorite. I like the way those edges turned out. If we click on this quick, you can see it is 10 high. That's the default. So we're going to bring out a whole cube. And remember this 0.95? That means we need to take 10. So I'll set this to 10 real quick. So it matches. And we're going to subtract 0.95 from 10. So I'm going to type 9.05 and press enter. When we bring this in place, check it out. It lines up perfectly. All right, let's get it to match the whole shape super slick by using flat view, top view, and the black handles. Notice the scroll out if you have to see a little bit more to get it all the way to the exact edge. I'm going to duplicate these with Control D, and I'll show you why in just a second. And if we select these and do Control G, it slices the bottom off, and of course we can hit D to drop it to the work plane. So now it would print just the beveled edges. Well, let me show you why we did this. Select them both, L for align. This time I want to align to the top. And if we group those with Control G, bingo, it'll cut the beveled underneath. Really quickly, let's bounce back to perspective. I'm going to take this one right here and make it a hole. Let's bring out a cube. I'm going to make sure it is larger than our shape. I'm just going to stretch these. I'm going to set this to 2 and press enter. Make sure it's passed. Of course, pick a blue. Custom. Bingo. Love that. Select it. L for a line. Make the blue one the master. And of course, we want it to be centered and centered. And we want that hole to come to the top. And with those two selected, let's do control G to group. Now notice it didn't cut through. Let me show you a super quick fix. Set your nudge to 0.1, double click to edit, click on the hole, double check it's the hole, and then do control up arrow to raise it up 0.1 millimeters. Now you can see it's at the top and click anywhere else to finish the edit. There is our awesome one pride sign. Friends, if we zoom in, check it out. There is a tiny glitch there, and there are a couple tiny glitches on the D. Check out this strategy to get rid of those. Of course, we could bring in our own holes and cut them, but instead I'm going to do Control D. I'm going to set my nudge back to 1 and do Control up to raise that new one up, and I'm going to ungroup it. 
I'm going to delete the main template. So now we've got that exact part. I'm going to click on it, and instead of 0.95, I'm going to change it to 1 and press Enter. So it is a tiny bit taller. Now I'm going to put the work plane down here. Simply click W for work plane, slide under there, D to drop. And are you ready for this? If I select those two pieces, notice it says two shapes, and do Control G to group. Bingo. We have just recut that corner, and those little nuggets are gone. W for work plane, and it is set back and ready for 3D printing. Friends, there you have it, text with beveled edges in just a few minutes. Now, I do have more videos about text. I'll make sure I put those up in the cards. They are, of course, fast and fun, and you'll leave with a lot of cool skills. Friends, I do want to say thank you very much to my supporters on Patreon. Of course, you can check down below or the bit.ly up above to learn more. And finally, friends, I want to thank you for watching the video. Don't forget, every time that you click that like button, share a video, add a comment down below, or hit subscribe. You're helping HL Mod Tech get just a little bigger, which absolutely makes my day. Friends, have a glorious day and a happy new year.